everybody, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be tying a wet flying pattern called the Bannock Chief. In the vise I've got a Hanak H200 barbless hook. The thread I'm going to be using is UTC70 in black. For the tag on the fly I use some red wool which I tease out into a dubbing. And for the tail I use some golden pheasant tippet feathers. The butt of the fly is made up of peacock hull and the body is yellow floss. For the wings, I use some mallard feathers. Here I've got a pair. The hackle is hen hackle in red game. And optionally to finish off, we can use some jungle cock eyes. To lacquer the head, I've got some black varnish. So I'm going to start off by casting on at the eye of the hook. Carry it back a few wraps to secure and trim the excess. I'm going to spin my thread flat and carry it back down. And we're going to go a little bit beyond the, hook, the bend of the hook. And I'm going to come in with my dubbing. This is that wool we saw earlier that I've teased out. And I'm going to roll up a tight sausage of dubbing. And I'm going to wrap on a little red tag for the fly. This will help to hold the tail up in the correct position. There we go. Now I've got a small pinch of golden pheasant tibbet. I'm going to come in and use a pinch and loop technique to secure that down. And then we're going to carry the thread forward and tie down along the length of the hook shank and trim the excess of the stems. Here I'm spinning my thread flat again. We're going to secure everything down and carry it back to the butt. Now, I'm taking a single strand of peacock curl here. It's a fairly small pattern. I'm going to secure that down and twist it up. Here you want to be really careful to avoid the hook point. The hurl is very, very fragile and if you catch it on the sharp point it will just snap on you. So, made five or six wraps there and I'm going to secure the hurl one, two, three, and break it away. I'm going to run the thread quickly back up to the front. And now I'm going to come in with the length of floss. I'm going to tack that down with a few turns at the front. And this is a synthetic floss, it's quite resilient. I'm going to wrap that on. I'm trying to make sure it's nice and flat to make a nice even body. And every so often I run my thumbnail down it to make sure that all the fibres are lying nice and parallel. So I've gone down and now I'm coming back up again. I'm going to go a little bit further than where we started and tie off. I'm going to pull up and snip off the excess. The next material is going to be the hen hackle. I've stripped and prepared the butt end of this. So I can see one wrap in front, one behind, and then just carry the excess down the hook shank. I'm going to secure that down. And here I'm going to wrap and preen the feather barbs back so that they lie towards the tail of the fly. So I've done one and a half, two, and two and a half wraps there. I'm going to secure that off, two wraps over the stem, and then I'm going to draw the fibres back and down. And you can see that's directed most of them below the hook shank into a sort of beard hackle. Here I've got a pair of slips from my mallard wings. I've got a left feather and a right feather. And I'm going to make sure that the feather points are pointing towards each other so the wing's nice and streamlined. Snipped off the excess. And I'm going to work from the eye of the hook backwards to build up a little head. I'm going to come in with my jungle cock eyes. These are the tiny little eyes right from the top of the cape. I'm going to secure on one side. And I'm going to come in and secure the second on the other side. This just lets me make sure that they're nice and even. Now let's trim off that excess stem from the jungle cock eyes. Get it nice and close. I'm just going to take a little bit of time to work from the eye backwards to make a nice smooth bullet shaped head. I'm happy with that, so I'm going to come in with my whip finisher. 
and tie off. That will snip the excess. Here I've got a little bit of that black lacquer on my dubbing needle. I come in and just give a light coat on the head. If you really want to build up a nice glossy finish, you can use several coats. And there you have it. And that's the Bannock Chief. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.